Hello, it's Corey from the Power Wagon family. And it's been about a week since we returned from Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. We had a blast. It was my wife's first expo and she was just amazed by everything there was to see. Um, I encourage everyone to make it a point to at least go to one expo, uh, regardless of what location, you know, go to the one nearest you first and check it out. And whether you're uh, an avid overlander uh, or you're just getting into the hobby, go. They have so much stuff to see and you can get a practical idea of the gear that's for sale and how it could apply to you and your lifestyle and what you plan on doing. So especially if you're just getting started and you're not quite sure, you know, do I want to go rooftop tent? Do I want to go some kind of camping unit on the back of my truck? Do I want to outfit my SUV with some kind of certain suspension to take us further into the woods, whatever. They have all that stuff there and the owners or the reps for these companies are on hand for you to pick their brain and talk to them about their products. So again, won't dive into that too much. Go to Overland Expo. If you get an opportunity, go check it out. I think it's something that everybody should do. So, but again, like I said, we're back here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, back home. It's been about a week. We're back to work, unfortunately, but work is an evil necessity for this hobby, right? You can't go out and do the kind of stuff that we do and not have an income source. So work, unfortunately, has to be done. And kind of brings us to the topic of this video, which is what I bought at Overland Expo and why. So I had to have money to buy that stuff. None of the stuff was given to me. So, but it was stuff that I thought would fit into our gear very well and into our kit. So again, paid for all the stuff with my own money. Nothing was given to me. I just want to do a quick video on the different items and why we bought it and why I thought it was cool at the time and still do. So without further ado, I'll grab the first item and we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, so I'm kind of a light nerd, right? So I love lights, whether I need them or not. <laughs> um, but these ones I actually think I, I need. Um, I, I love all different kinds of lights. I actually bought two different lights out there this weekend, which I'll show you the next one uh, after I go over this one. But these are the hardcore uh, lighting U lights and they're individual little pod lights and I'll show you them here in a minute. But I went on a camping trip with a buddy of mine, Jason from 22 Wild Track on Instagram. Give him a follow, good guy. Um, and he had some of these lights and they really caught my eye at camp. So I asked him about them and lo and behold, we they had them at Expo, right? So uh, GTFO is where you can find these lights. Uh, their website sells them and super great guys. We're working on a collaboration with uh, them and New Mexico Expedition. So stay tuned for more on that. But if you want some of these lights after I show them to you, you can check out GTFO, uh, check out their website. They got all kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah, I gotta stay off that website because I'm gonna end up with more lights than I actually need. But these lights are super cool. So they come in this really cool, like rugged case, right? That's gonna keep them protected. And they're a set of pod lights, very simple. They, uh, four individual lights come in the set. And so they have different settings, but the mounting is a magnet on the back, or you can use this elastic bungee that's attached and it will reattach to itself. And you can put these on your awning arms. You can put these on your uh, rooftop tent ladder to guide you kind of coming up and down at night super cool rechargeable no no replaceable battery just usb chargeable and one of the coolest things i thought was the way they thought this out so you've got the usb charger and it charges all four at the same time i've got some lights now and i have to like they take turns charging right because okay you charge one it's done take it off 
put the next one on. No, not with these, right? They thought this through very well. You have a USB charger. You can charge all four of these pod lights at the same time before you hit the road. And according to this box, uh, if you keep it on uh, medium, you can go six hours. Um, if you keep it on low, which is probably fine out in the woods, right? Uh, you could do 30 hours. So another nice thing is they are, um, have a setting for orange LED light, which is supposed to be the best for keeping bugs away. So let me, let me just show you real quick. So I don't hope the camera can pick this up. We have bright white, we have low white, we have even lower white, right? And we have high orange, and then we have like a flashing SOS signal orange, or just a strobe, maybe it's not SOS, my bad. And then you have off again. So really cool, rechargeable, don't have to worry about batteries, charge them up, put them in your vehicle, and, and just, they got this cool case. I wanna say this was a hundred bucks, so maybe 25 bucks a light. Uh, you know, but the, the set is a hundred bucks. You get this cool case, very small, compact. They put out a lot of light. I've seen these on uh, Jason's vehicle when we were out on that trip and they, they put out a good amount of light. The orange light is great for keeping the bugs away. So if you're back east or somewhere by the water and there's lots of insects, you know, you have the option of running orange. They are waterproof. So again, really really happy i found these there because like i said i saw them being used at camp and i wanted a set and then they were there at expo so i grabbed them uh, gtfo go to the website grab yourself a pair of these or a, a pack of these i should say and i think you will not be disappointed again magnet bungee you can put them all over the place i i think you're going to find a lot of uses for these lights and reduce some of the bulky items that you may have now so go check them out I will, uh, I got one more light item at Expo. I'll show you that here in a minute. I'm gonna go grab it and we'll talk about it. So the next item I wanna talk about, or items I should say, is from a company called Bare Bones. They had a booth set up like almost in the ideal spot, right? You come into Expo on foot, all the people that were coming to the Expo, you walk in and the first aisle of uh to go down and look at everything they had a corner right there and they had some really really cool stuff my wife saw these plates and bowls we got some coffee mugs too but i didn't bring these out these are uh, enamelware plates and bowls we typically use paper plates when we're camping but we are trying to make an effort to switch over to some kind of reusable you know, something we can keep in the camp kitchen. So we did get a set of these bowls and plates uh, for four of us to have while we're out camping, wash these out and reuse them, not going through, uh, you know, paper plates all the time. And we also got some titanium, uh, you know, knife and fork sets to keep. So. We're going that direction. The wife saw these, she loved them. She likes that white enamel with that kind of bronze edge. Um, so I think they're pretty cool too. We'll see how that works out. But again, the light nerd in me saw these, um, these little mini lanterns, these little Edison style mini lanterns, right? We, <laughs> this is kind of an, maybe an impulse buy you could say, but we do have a cabin up in Colorado that we visit frequently. And I think these would be really cool up there. Uh, they are USB as well. So you can, you can charge these, recharge them. You can hang them up, but I think they'll look cute in our cabin. Yes, I said cute. Uh, I think they'll look good. And yeah, so, but one cool thing about this bare bones company and why we kind of pulled the trigger on this stuff is I went over there on Sunday, the last day of the expo, and they had everything 50% off the last day. So pro tip for you, if you see something that you like, you might wanna wait till the last day to buy it. So we picked up all this stuff, 50% off. Bare Bones, is, has, they do have a website, you can get all this stuff. 
Supposedly, I was told they have sales quite frequently, so keep your eye on the website for that if you're interested in any of these this stuff. And yeah, so 50% on the last day, I think it was a good score, and we'll see how it works out. Go check out their website, Bare Bones, and uh, that's it for this item. I'll go ahead and grab the next item and be right back. Okay, so we've got a couple of other items here. We've got some hygiene items now. Uh, we've got two items here. I'll start with the shower pouch. Um, you know, typically if we're going out for three days or less, I'm not packing the shower. Uh, we can get by with a kind of baby wipe style wipe down and cleansing of our body, right? With baby wipes to hold us over till we can get home and jump in the shower. Uh, we were at Overland Expo walking around and these shower patch people kind of reeled us in, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is they had several of these pouches open and they were kind of wafting the essential oils, you know, as people walked by and it smelled really good, right? So we went over there and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So they're big, they're, you know, I don't know what the dimensions are of them exactly, but it's you know, I'd probably say it's, you know, about at least this, you know, something like this, right? It's a big, big baby wipe, essentially. <clears throat> and it's infused with essential oils. They have an unscented version, and I believe they have three other scents you can get. The wife and I like the citrus and the cucumber, so we got citrus and cucumber. We got a bunch of those. I'm not going to open these up and, and, and waste this one for the video. I want to use it. Um, but... Go to their website, go to their social media. They have, I'm sure they have videos and stuff to show you how to use them. They smell really, really good. They're hypoallergenic um, and they, they work, right? We used it on the second day of Expo. Um, I used one, my wife used one. We cleaned ourselves up and we were smelling good and felt clean for another couple days of Expo and then came home and took a shower, right? But they do their job. They do what they're supposed to do. We're very pleased with them. I will be buying more of these as I use them up. And yeah, so go check out Shower Pouch. Um, I, I think you will be uh, happily uh, pleased with the product. I don't think you'll, you'll have any, any issues. I know one problem I normally have with traditional baby wipes as a guy with like facial hair or, you know, whatever, you go to wipe yourself down and you end up with that like baby wipe fuzz all over you. Uh, not with these bad boys. So, uh, yes, they work really well, and they didn't leave me all fuzzy. So, yeah, check these out. I like those. I'm going to be getting more of those. Next item is the Dunny Buddy, right? Dunny Buddy. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and really, you know, it's very uh, it's just kind of a simple product uh but i liked it because here's the deal right we go out to the woods we don't go to campgrounds or i try very hard not to go to campgrounds because you know we want to get out away from everybody else and we want to see stuff that you don't normally see from the side of the road we want to venture off into the woods as deep as we can get and set up our home for the next few days and in doing so you typically go to the restroom, uh, you know, we like to use uh, the th kind of three-legged toilet with the bag. Um, and sometimes we don't use the bag. Sometimes we'll just carry the toilet and our Demo shovel and we'll wander off to the woods and we'll dig a hole and we'll go to the bathroom, right? Well, you need to bring your toilet paper with you. We usually have it sitting on the tailgate or inside the camper somewhere or whatever and it ends up getting unwound or it fall, the wind blows or it falls off the tailgate onto the ground. Anyway, I don't know, need to go into too much detail, but I didn't like the toilet paper just kind of hanging out and then you're carrying it. Then when you get to the, the place you're going to use the bathroom, you want to set it down. You're digging the hole to use the, the bathroom and you have to set your toilet paper down. This is kind of like a cool case for your toilet paper, essentially. Uh, you load your toilet paper inside. The instructions are on the back. So if you get one of these, it'll tell you how to do it. Mine's not opened yet, but I will be opening it shortly, but not on video. Um, but yeah, you put your toilet paper roll in here and you have a little door. You pull it out. You can feed it out. It holds it here so you don't lose it inside. 
you keep your door closed, you got a cool little carrying handle, carry this, your shower or your toilet and your shovel, you go find yourself a place to go to the bathroom. You don't have to worry about your toilet paper getting all nasty or trashed. And, you know, I plan on hanging this off of my, uh, one of my swing outs on my rear bumper. And if a rain comes through or a shower, you know, something moves through and uh, I don't even have to think about it. The toilet paper is in here and it's dry. So very cool. Dunny, buddy, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to probably use it this weekend when we go out. Dunny, buddy. So yeah, check it out. Cool little toilet paper protection case. So that's it for hygiene items. I'm going to go put these away and grab the next one and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the next item. And this is kind of, again, two items that are related. This is recovery, right? This is some recovery stuff that I got. Now, you know, recovery, it's one of those things, it's like an insurance policy, right? You hope you never have to use it. And, you know, it's kind of hard spending on money that's something that's gonna live in your vehicle and you may never pull out. Just like that winch that sits on the front of your vehicle, you know, you pay good money to buy a winch and have it on your vehicle. And again, you hope you never have to use it, but if you do need it, it's there and uh, it will pay for itself in one time, I promise you. So recovery gear never hurts to have it. It's kind of hard to pay money for something that you hope to never use, right? But when you do need it, you're gonna be very happy that you have it. So. We'll go right into it. This item right here, it is by Rhino USA and taking up all of my table here, but let me just pull it out of here. Put this on the ground. I don't need that anyway. So, kinetic rope. It's like the newest thing and I've seen it in use. I've seen it on YouTube and I've seen it in real life and I am very impressed with the way it works. My power wagon is no lightweight vehicle, right? So you gotta make sure you get the right gear for your vehicle. I can't get away with like a little tiny kinetic rope. I need a, excuse me, a big ass kinetic rope, which means it's gonna take up more space. But again, it's gonna do the job and it's not gonna be like scary to use because it's designed for 11 and a half thousand uh, pounds, which is more than enough. That's the working load for this kinetic rope, which is uh, one inch in diameter. And it has a max uh, brake strength of 34,000 and some change. So uh, yeah, hopefully I never get to that point or never see that kind of uh, weight. But for my 9,000, nine and a half uh, power wagon, the way we have it outfitted, it'll be just fine. It comes in this cool bag, right? Cool little bag. I got the gray instead of the green. Um, and it also came with two of these soft shackles, which I think are really cool because I don't have any of these now. I have the kind of clevis ones now, um, but these soft shackles, I got two of those and the kinetic rope as a package deal with this kind of cool bag too. Um, but speaking of bags, this kind of brings us to the next item. This bag will be going away. It just never fails. You buy something and it comes with its own packaging or you know bag or whatever to hold it in, right? Which is cool. But this isn't my only piece of recovery here. I've got toe straps. I've got tree savers. I've got all kinds of other stuff already. I just didn't have a kinetic rope yet. So that's why I wanted one. Um, so that stuff has its own bag and and I have a bottle jack that I like to bring with us to, to help uh, lift the truck should something happen or I need to change a tire or whatever. So instead of having multiple bags with different items in the, each of their own bags, you know, taking up space in my, in my truck, I went to the guys and gals at Step 22 who uh, I know very well and uh, have a good relationship and rapport with those folks over there. And they make uh, one of the coolest recovery gear bags uh, that I think it is called the Rhino. Um, it's got, yeah, it's got some other information on here. But I'll, I'll just, in, in plain talk, essentially, right, 
you've got this huge cavernous area where I'm going to put my bottle jack, all my recovery gear, this, the soft shackles. You put it all in here, you zip it up, and it's kind of got like a dry bag closure, right? So you kind of close the top and you use the buckles and you have all of your gear in one bag. So it's like, hey, I can send my wife or one of the kids, probably not the kids, they wouldn't be able to lift it, but hey, go grab the recovery bag out of the truck and bring it to me. I'm out here dealing with whatever we've gotten ourselves into or helping a buddy who's stuck or whatever and we need to get him out so we need the gear out of the truck, right? Also, cool comes with a little, you know, we'll put recovery on here. The wife has better handwriting than I do, so she'll write recovery on here, stick it on the bag. Then I guess you could send anybody to your truck because it'll say recovery on it, have everything we need in one bag, kind of like my tool roll. Have my tool roll, have my recovery bag, and we'll be squared away, kind of with, helps my OCD keep everything together, organized in the back of the truck, not just all over the place so yeah really cool rhino usa uh kinetic rope one inch by 30 feet so it's very lifetime warranty too on their stuff so you break it no questions asked you send it back in and you get brand new stuff from them hopefully again i, I never experience a breakage and quite honestly hopefully i never have to use it but if i do i have it it's going to go in this bag with all my other crap and I'm gonna have one consolidated bag for recovery gear when we're out on the trail. So these two items I'm very happy with and look forward to setting these up here this weekend before we head out. So two, two cool items. That brings us to the end of the stuff that I bought at Overland Expo and why. If you have any questions, uh, please hit me up in the comments. If you want to know what I paid, I, I have no problem telling you what I paid. Again, Expo is a good place to buy stuff because it's stuff is on sale. They don't want to take the stuff back home with them when they leave at the end of the weekend. So they give you some good deals on stuff. And I, I think I did pretty well. Uh, again, in the comments, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, if you have any any other information you want to provide me or anything you liked or didn't like, let me know. I'm open to all kinds of comments and, and love talking to people and trying to uh, point people in the right direction. If I can help you, I will. That's what we're all here for. We all love this hobby. So had a good time at Overland Expo. Go check out these products. I'll tag them uh, in, the, in the video as well. So you can go to their websites and check them out. I think I did pretty well. The wife wasn't too upset that I spent uh, money at Expo because I think she was kind of happy with everything too. It was We didn't go super crazy. So yeah, good video, I hope. I hope you guys enjoy. And we'll, we are going out into the woods on Monday for Memorial Day. I have to work the weekend, so I will be home the weekend of Memorial Day. But on the actual holiday, I'm taking off with the kids. We're going to the mountains. We're going to go out with a buddy and we're going to spend three days up there uh, hanging out and doing a little exploring. So I'll make a video for that and I'll have it to you uh, soon. But for now, this is what I bought at Overland Expo and that was why. We'll talk to you all soon. Have a good one.